So this morning we're off to uh, a place called Edgar's Dam. It's out near the Gordon River Dam. Um, got our boats on board. And I've always looked at this little island right out in the middle of this lake. It just looks fantastic and I've always wanted to go there. So today we're gonna give it a crack. We've checked out the weather report, looks pretty good. Wind's not gonna come up. There's a bit of rain later on, but anyhow, let's go do it. All right, folks, that's Scott's Peak over there, which is actually an island. And we were thinking about launching down here and going across to the island and um, probably go straight up the ridge line and have a bit of a look what's up there. But amazing place, as you can see. What do you think of it, Harry? Incredible. Incredible, yeah. We'll go and get the boats in the water and um, we'll get you guys across there to Scotts Peak Island and um, take a look. All right, here we go. If you only dream about going on adventures, that's not really an adventure, is it? Do the best thing you can with your time on this planet. Get out, take risks, and really live. We're only here once, and we intend to do the best thing we possibly can with our time. Okay, weather's nice. Here we go guys, let's launch these boats. Just leaving Scotts Peak Dam here. It's going to take around about an hour I estimate to get across to the island. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully the wind doesn't come up. The only thing I've forgotten on this trip is a bloody hat. I've left it back at the accommodation, so... Oh well, it is what it is. We've got plenty of sunscreen, so... We'll just go with that. Heading west. Actually heading... Heading north. We're actually heading north. Wild part of Tasmania, that's for sure. The tannin in the water. It looks like Coca-Cola. It just looks like Coke. The mountains, mountain range. Living the absolute dream. I wonder how deep it is below us. And there we go, all the specifications that you need to know. We'll let you know just how deep it is right where we are right now. What's, a fish living here. what's that? A fish living here. Yeah, it's a fishing spot. Yep. <laughs> Scott's Peak looks like such a hard climb. Because the air's so clear down here in Tasmania, the um, Distances get all sort of mixed up. You think it's just there and it's not. It's just because you can see so much further. It looks like Harry's guess was going to be closer to it than what mine was. He said 20 minutes, so here we go. We're nearly there. To the first headland. Beautiful place. Just beautiful. Alright, so 20 minutes to the headland, now across to Scott's Peak. Scott's Peak, straight across there. So, I'll just bring you speed. So, that's the top of Scott's Peak up there. Where it's just way too far, it's in crazy amount of hiking. So, we're going to do the lower peak to there. Let's see what that looks like. If we get to there, I'll be absolutely chuffed with myself. I mean, we had to leave something for you, the viewers, to up the ante and maybe get out here yourselves, climb to the highest peak. <laughs> Ugh, squishy, squishy. <laughs> you get out of your boat and it's just absolutely squishy under feet. Oh, very strange underfoot. Very, very strange. Well, yeah, here we go. Coca-Cola water. Button grass tannin, mate. That's what this is. River. <laughs> Remember, we had done no research on this place whatsoever. It was just a dream I had to go here. Yeah. What comes next was actually quite tricky. 
Oh shit, it's Boggy Marsh. We didn't have appropriate footwear, and did we care? Not a bit. Button grass and coastal shrubs. This isn't a bad track. This is actually all right. You can sort of see the high point. If we stay on this higher zone, we won't hit those boggy marshes. So we did our time check when we left the boats. One o'clock it was. And we've just got to really keep our eye on the time so we don't get stuck in wild Tasmania. As we are underprepared for this. Right. Harry and me have got to the first incline and that's there that's the first stage and then we go up the last stage which is just there I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not but anyhow I've been walking through this scratchy scratchy Lunch of champions. Mm. Mm. Gluten free. I can't believe you didn't bring your beef jerky. Oh. New sausage, what are you? Hungry. Sitting here on these button grass plains. Nearly on top of a mountain. Happy days. My glasses are really foggy. Right, this is pretty insane. We are only about 10 to 15 steps from the ridge line. So yeah, we're getting there. Harry's just coming up through here now. Harry found lollies in his bag, so he's very happy. Anyhow, stay with us, we're about 15 steps to the top. Let's see, let's see if I got it right. Yeah, you're stoked? Yes. Yeah, pretty pumped, me too, man. So we're gonna go to the ridge line and then we're gonna walk to the top. Here we go, 15 steps, I reckon. One, two, Hang on, you hold that. Okay, so three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're on the back side of the island. That's where we're going, guys. Okay, stay with us. God, even that looks doable now. Mm. But that's another day. Let's get to the one that we said we were gonna to get to, eh? Mm. We'll leave that for some other massive explorer to explore. Peak number one, Scott's Peak. Here it is, guys. Here it is. There you go. This is what we got. So we left at 12 o'clock. We got to the shoreline of Scott's Peak at one o'clock and we got to the top of the first peak by two o'clock with a small, a, a quick stop for lunch. So another hour back to the boats and then another hour home, be back at the car roughly by about 4 p.m. There's all these funny little flies up here, like one millimeter flies and they run through your hair. They make your head really itchy. Real itchy. <laughs> I 
it honestly just drops off. So, so And just for the audience, we're not doing this in any type of mountain walk, hiking boot or whatever. We're actually doing it in skate shoes yeah. and mountain bike shoes. See? So it just goes to show it, loads. it can be done. Look, quality Good. hiking Good shoes. Yeah. All right, enough camera work. Let's get home. Why would they mine this? So crazy, just in the middle of all of this. Mm. And you come across this. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. One last step. How hard, how hard was that? Oh, oh, jelly legs. And there's the boats over there in the distance. Still in those lollies. They're all gone now. <laughs> Quite hard. When we were like getting to the first pinch, it was nearly like we might not be able to do this. Yeah, that's okay. right. The bog. Yeah. Yeah, the boggy stuff. Yeah, there was marsh lands near the bottom. Yep, that's right. And then, yeah, it sort of evened out the end though. It was nice when we got to the rock. Mm. It was nice to climb up the rock. Yeah. Anyhow, guys, we hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. See ya.